Hey guys, so today I want to answer some questions that I have from you. As always, if you would like to be included in this, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is Megan Parkin, and maybe next time I'll answer your question. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into this. The first question comes from Amelia, and she says, would you ever get plastic surgery? Have you considered it? So I've spoken about this in the past before, and I still am going to make a video all about bras, how to make your boobs look good, how to make people think that you've had a boob job, you know, all that kind of stuff. Not that that's really like the intent or the purpose of wearing a good bra, but I definitely have had comments on different pictures on Instagram and stuff, maybe when my cleavage is a little bit more out, and people have like asked me like, did you get something done? Or you know, how do your boobs look like that, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, it's wearing the correct bra. Huge, huge thing, and such a thing that I think so many girls do don't do and I feel like you know I can help and of course recommend some of my favorites also give you some tips on different bras wear different shirts and stuff and just a bunch of things because I think it's more you know than just how your boobs look kind of goes into it and I think you know a lot of girls that don't wear ones that are very supportive or nice or structured well that can make anyone's chest not look good so that's a huge thing um, but as far as plastic surgery so I have mentioned that I broke my nose and it was in an unfortunate cheerleading accident when a girl kicked me in the face sometimes in like different pictures and lighting like the little part of like the bone where it kind of looks like almost chipped shows and that does kind of bother me but I don't think I would get like a nose job for that because I don't mind the shape of my nose I just kind of like don't love that that little thing shows so I don't think I'd ever get that done and the only other thing I was ever interested in doing was maybe getting lip injections to have fuller lips I have a pretty full bottom lip but I think I would just kind of want my top one to kind of balance it out a little bit more and I have seen a lot of girls on YouTube who have done it and it looks really great I've also seen some people that have done it and they just like went too over the top and I think it looks just kind of intense I guess so I'm sure you can kind of work with you know whatever look you desire and stuff but I do think it might be one of those things um, kind of similar to like highlighting or dyeing your hair like once you go blonde you just want to go blonder and blonder and blonder um, I know that's not the case for everyone but I think some people do deal with that or even being tan like sometimes once you start tanning you can't tell how tan you actually are and I think maybe sometimes with lip injections and stuff people kind of go down that same route but as of now no plastic surgery and you know I'm not against it at all though I think if you want to do something that's going to make you feel better about yourself you know it's your life do what you got to do so that's my answer for that question Emily says how do you deal with fake friends have you ever had any fake friend scenarios and yes I have but I can't say I've had them recently because I am super selective about my friends I really have a very tight-knit group of friends and of course I'm always open to meeting people but I can read people very well I pick up on a lot of like social cues and things and so if someone is you know not genuine or doesn't have good intentions or just isn't a good person I kind of quickly can find that out and I kind of realize that and distance myself having that said my friends that are my best friends it takes a lot for me to say that but if you happen to be one of those people I will do anything for you like I completely love you and support you and you know will steer you clear when I think you're in the wrong and I hope that you do the same for me and we just have a very honest and open friendship and I think that's super important and every girl needs that core group of good best friends I really do think if you're dealing with fake friends and stuff you need to kind of assess the situation first of all also realize that it's okay like it's okay to grow up and lose friends Friends and kind of change friends based on who you are as a person who they are as a person and that's just a total normal part of life and it doesn't mean anything bad at all it's actually really good because you know at the end of the day you want to have people in your life that are truly good for you and that truly love you for who you are and that are going to be there for you you know good or bad and as far as dealing with fake friends, you know, I really think that friendships like relationships, I know I speak a lot about dating and love and sex and all that kind of stuff, but with friendships, it's really similar. You know, you need to have effort from both parties and whether that means, you know, putting an effort to see each other or to communicate or if something bothers you, you need to be able to speak about that. That's all super, super important. And as I've grown up, I've really realized, you know, a true friend is not going to get angry at you over something when you're being sincere if you honestly you know forgot that you guys had plans that night and you made other plans or something 
or if you say something that accidentally offends them in any way and you truly honestly didn't mean it like that, a real friend will be able to kind of tell when that is. And I feel like as I've gotten older, I've been less stressed and worried about like fighting with friends or creating issues by speaking out, you know, my feelings and how I feel about certain situations. And I've realized that like the right friend understands, they just do. And I really have found that to be true. So it's definitely very comforting to know that. And if you are dealing with that, you know, my heart goes out to you. I know it can be really hard but just know that you I'm sure have genuine friends in your life and if you are kind of in the process of weeding out the people that aren't worth it you know look at it in a positive way because it really honestly is Kendall says you often talk about bad dates and awkward hookups can you tell us one of your best hookup stories so without like outing this guy or anything or making him feel kind of awkward or uncomfortable, although this was like a positive story, so I don't think he would feel that way. One time I was actually at the beach with a guy and it was nighttime, which was really cool and kind of, I don't know, I guess like just kind of romantic in a way. And we had like a bottle of wine and a blanket and we walked down to the beach and we were just kind of watching the waves roll in. And one thing kind of led to another and we started kissing and we were just like really into kissing each other that was honestly all that happened on the beach okay but we were just very into it and i think when you're with someone really amazing honestly just kissing them can be like incredibly thrilling and intimate and amazing and as that was happening of course we're under all the stars it was just like literally out of like a movie and trust me it gets more like movie-ish as the story goes on so we were kissing and as cliche as this sounds i honestly do not know how long we were kissing for because at one point or another, the waves literally splashed up onto us, and I'm talking like completely, like we're sitting on the ground, of course, like on the sand, and the water comes up, and it's probably like this much water on my lap, like that high, like I'm up to like, you know, right below my boobs, and just water. The ocean came up so fast, and I was so shocked, and I freaked out. I thought my phone got swept away and everything. It was just like a mess. Um, our bottle of wine did get lost, and so did our blankets, which was okay. Thankfully, we had our phones and my purse was like slung around me so I had kind of everything I needed and I don't know it was so funny because the way that he handled that actually afterwards was really great he didn't let it like ruin our night it was actually really cute and it was kind of like I don't know it was something that kind of showed both of us how into each other we were because we did not even realize that the water was coming up so high and when it happened, of course, it was freezing cold and it was like a big kind of jolt. But in the end, we had a great night. And that was probably like my best hookup story because it was so like perfect, but then not perfect in the same way, but still amazing and fun and so memorable. Like something I will literally, I can never forget that. Amanda says, do you have a fall fashion must have? So I've been kind of thinking about this lately. I'm super excited. I really want like a lace up suede skirt. I've seen a few different ones on Revolve that are super cute in like a black suede and they're beautiful. So I definitely might be getting one of those. I think it would look so great with like a chunky knit sweater or like a really silky blouse for a night out or like a leather jacket. I really like texture and especially in the fall time, I think it's so fun to play around with different textures and different looks and all that kind of stuff. I also really have been into scarves. I am eyeing a few Alexander McQueen like school scarves that I think are so cute and like previously I never was really that into it but now I definitely am because I think when you wear all black which is a really easy kind of go-to outfit for the fall and winter you know a really nice pair of black leggings or black jeans a black sweater a leather jacket and then like a nice statement school scarf I think that's just adorable and like a really easy outfit to throw together but you still kind of look edgy and fashionable at the same time which I love and I think my next kind of fall trend, of course, that I'm going to be loving, which everyone kind of does, is the dark nail trend. When I was younger, my mom honestly like wouldn't allow me to paint my nails black. And now that I do wear acrylics and stuff, I love them. Honestly, I know they're bad for your nails, but they just make my hands look so much better. I have really tiny little hands, and my nails also don't grow evenly. So without acrylic nails, they just look really weird and awkwardly like small and little. But so I think with the acrylics, it'll be really beautiful to do like the dark purples and kind of the dark maroons and stuff and kind of teetering on that edge of almost black because I think having them all be uniformed and really shiny and pretty, it can pull off like the black nail polish look without it looking too like grungy or unkept. So I'm definitely very excited for that and I love fall. It's absolutely my favorite season ever. 
And Rachel says, are you going to be doing Halloween videos this year? And yes, I am. I'm super excited. As you guys know, Halloween is like my favorite holiday. And I love doing really outrageous looks for the makeup and the costumes and stuff. And I'm going to try and throw in some looks that are more suited for like high school Halloween parties and then college because, at least in my opinion, I thought college Halloween parties were incredibly amazing and there were always so many of them. So you really wanted to have like, you know, a bunch of different outfits that you could throw together and different looks that you could do. Um, while all kind of staying, you know, on a nice budget and stuff. So I definitely will be having a lot of really creative things as well coming up. So just go ahead and stay tuned for that. If you do happen to have any Halloween tutorials that you would really want me to do, go ahead and feel free to leave them down below and I can try to do that for you. So that's it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you next time.